come to Uari National Forest, the first thing you need to do is stop at the El Dorado Outpost and grab yourself a trail pass. There's two things to know about the dirt roads at Uari. The first thing is always air down before you go on the dirt road to the trail because they will jar your teeth out in the washboards. The second thing to know is that they are always dusty. It doesn't matter what you do, you're going to get covered in dust. So just be ready for that. stop sign marks the end of the Wolf Den Trail. From here we're going to take a left and head down towards Falls Dam Trail and also by the Art Booty Campground. This pit is known as the Soup Bowl. The depth of it can vary wildly depending on recent rainfall, so enter at your own risk. The rock in the middle of this optional line is deceivingly tall. You can see where I drug my differential on it.
That concludes the Falls Dam Trail. From here we're going to hang a left on the dirt road and go down a little ways to find the Dickey Bell Trailhead. Looking on the map, we just finished Falls Dam. So we started here at Wolf Den, came down Wolf Den, did Falls Dam. Those little rocky sections were about in here and about here. And then we popped out here at the parking lot. And now we're gonna find the entrance to the bottom side of Dickey Bell. All right, so here's the entrance to Dickey Bell. This rock section is the toughest part on Dickey Bell. I did this section without turning on the lockers to show you that a Jeep with open diffs can get through this section. If you have a little bit of lift, that would be beneficial just for clearance, but I'm pretty sure that a stock vehicle could get through this section with no problem. This is the end of the Dickey Bell Trail at the intersection of Rocky Mountain Loop. So from here, we're going to take a left, go down a short section of Rocky Mountain Loop, and head over to Slab Pile. Rocky Mountain Loop essentially turns into slab pile here due to some trail reconstruction from a few years back. To the left is Dutch John. Slab pile is a very tame trail that does have one unique rock formation that makes it worth checking out.
This rock formation is commonly known as poser rock and is a great place to test the articulation of your suspension. That's definitely max. <laughs> Off the ground again. After we finished up the last couple hundred yards of slab pile, decided to go check out Dutch John. <laughs> you guys all right? Oh, you didn't realize you were in high gear? <laughs> Hit it too hard?
shit. Don't barrel roll. Woo! same way it's not as bad as I thought either that a-pillar took the brunt of it I think my goal when I set out today was to go to Uari National Forest and hit every single OHV trail uh, basically create a comprehensive trail guide for Uari but uh, obviously that didn't quite work out uh, as you saw, like that, that recovery took several hours, and uh, although I was eager to finish that trail and then go hit the, the, the final hardest trail, I decided to backtrack and, uh, and head back. So right now I'm on the dirt road, going <clears> to <throat> head back to that first camp where I stopped at to air the tires down, going to air the tires back up, uh, pop over to the outpost, uh, get some gas and uh, some water. Today was a good reminder for me to make sure you always bring extra food and water and recovery supplies because even though you plan, you know, for only a half a day, um, you know, things happen and, and uh, you got to be prepared, you know, for the unexpected and uh, the unexpected definitely happened today. So um, I definitely did not bring enough food and water. Um, I did bring uh, three bottles of water, which I finished, and I happen to have this bottle of sparkling water, but this is the, the last thing I got. And I had brought one sandwich that I ate about 11.30 today, and it's about almost 6 p.m. now. So getting a little hungry. Uh, so I'm gonna get these tires aired up and uh, get out of here. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope uh, that the trail guide was at least, you know, helpful for the trails that I did get to cover. And uh, we got to do an exciting recovery, so that was cool. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.